male construction workers, pilots, drivers, and a few female typists. Ethnographer Rosanna Taturian's research shows that representation of gender roles are distorted in Armenian school textbooks. In recent years, educational policies have concluded that, yes, there is a misrepresentation of gender roles within education and it does not comply with egalitarian gender roles. It is of utmost importance to reassess the most important tools of educational policies, textbooks and academic materials, so that gender stereotypes can be eradicated throughout education. School textbooks are a child's first exposure to culture and society. So, the way different professions and social norms are depicted shapes their understanding and impressions of the outside world. In the majority of textbooks, there are very specific male and female gender roles, what is acceptable for a woman and what is acceptable for a man, a girl and a boy. What we see is that men and boys are represented as leaders and those who take on great responsibilities. Women and girls, on the other hand, are represented within domestic settings with limited opportunities. They engage in more limited roles and have fewer opportunities to achieve any goals outside these limits. Textbooks and teachers in elementary schools play a significant role in a child's development in establishing and promoting desired values. In elementary and middle schools, math textbooks are dominated by boys. Girls play a very small role in these books. The inclusion of girls in the creation of these math problems needs to be emphasized when these books are put together so that boys and girls find these math problems approachable and doable. In Armenian literature, a woman bears all the burdens of family life, left alone because her husband has left. There are only a few women who are independent in their daily life and are happy and equal. Experts say the attitudes and approaches of teachers towards pupils of different sexes and the works that they do is a no less significant factor in the socialization of gender roles. Our teachers put special emphasis on boys to motivate them, so when their answers only merit 80%, we still give them 100%. I would even demand that more attention is paid to boys in the classroom, to motivate them more. Things which girls are not allowed to do, such as misbehaving, coming to class without having done their homework, looking untidy, boys are allowed to do to a certain extent. When boys misbehave, we don't treat it as a big deal, as boys will be boys. If he comes to class unprepared, then it doesn't matter, because he is a boy. Yes. This attitude does exist. To improve teachers' approaches to gender sensitivity would require that teachers have an awareness and understanding of gender to improve literacy levels regardless of gender. This usually happens in two ways. It is either included within the education of future pedagogues to prepare future educators or through training programs for existing teachers. Armenia acceded back in 1993 to the UN Convention of the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, which requires that gender stereotypes of men and women should be eradicated at all levels of education. Mm -hmm.